it's always nice to take a spring walk in your garden. And then you can decide what you want to plant and where you want to plant it, as well as knowing what critters have already emerged in the spring. In this garden bed, we can look closely and see that our sage, which is an herb, has survived the winter. It is a perennial, which means it comes back every year. We also have in here some carrots that survived the winter. They are very small, <laughs> but they might grow bigger. And we have some scallions, which are members of the onion family that have come back. So they're gonna smell oniony or smell like chives. The rest of what we have in here is some spring weeds. We have some peppercress here with white flowers. And that's sticking up around here, peppercress, which tastes like arugula. There is some chickweed, different kinds of chickweed. This one is mouse, a mouse-eared chickweed, because I guess they think the leaves look like little mouse ears. Lavender has survived the winter. This is another perennial, and it's another herb that you can use in the kitchen. Also, the thyme has survived the winter. And almost everyone's favorite, sorrel. So sorrel, or lemon leaf, is a plant that tastes very lemony, and it loves this cool spring weather more sorrel here that's popped up and can you guess what these are that have come back we just looked at them they are carrots and they're also very small and these ones are purple and see if we can find any bugs in here when looking for bugs in the garden it's a good idea to dig a little and then wait and watch to see if you notice any. Oh, I see someone here. Over here we have some lettuce that survived the winter. And this lettuce is called freckles because it has little freckles red on the green leaves. We also have arugula, which is a peppery salad green. It's very tasty. And some of that peppercress weed has popped up. And fun fact, peppercress and arugula taste very similar. And they're both in the same family, which is why their leaves look similar too. Anyone know what these are? They are also in the onion family. It's garlic. So we're gonna watch them get bigger and bigger. In this garden bed, nothing's growing yet. I do see fluff here. And that is because in this garden bed, something really special is happening. There are some really tiny bunnies in here. And you don't want to disturb them. They get scared. But you can see them right there. Oh, hi guy. Okay. We're gonna put this. Hello, bunny. I'm gonna put your hay back on top of you. And we have some spinach that's popped up. Spinach is another green that likes the spring cool weather. We have kale, spinach. and some lettuce as well that all survived the winter. Our chives are coming up. They're also in the onion family, which you can tell likes this cool spring weather. And we have another herb here. Can you guess what this one is? It's in guacamole usually. It's cilantro. In this garden bed, we dig around a little, we can find
find one of these little grubs. These grubs in your garden are not good because they turn into beetles that will then eat your plants. And when they are at this little larva stage, they will also eat your plants and eat the roots. So you wanna really put these guys out of your garden soil. Also in our garden, we have our mint popping up here, which is always a favorite to come and pick. And over here in Sunflower Circle, you can see more of a plant that we've seen before. Anyone remember what this one is? It's in the onion family. It's garlic. And we have some celery that's come back here. Delicious. Some more of the this spring weed with the purple flowers, which is purple dead nettle. And then more of that pepper cress in here.